Welcome back to Gear Daddy. I'm your host, Daddy Troy. Today we're talking about the iPod Touch. It's basically an iPhone without the phone. And specifically, we're gonna talk about the educational value in owning one of these as a family. Today's episode is sponsored by Baby Bjorn. It's some of the best designed baby gear on the planet. You can think of the iPod Touch basically as a portable computer. It does everything a computer does. It has a web browser, it has a calendar, it has email. The um, iPod Touch is great for families. If you're on a plane flight this summer, you're taking off for a trip, um, it plays movies. Um, you can see right here, this is a movie we've loaded up onto this particular one. And this is the movie Cars. And if you're worried about a kid um, not watching a screen this size, it has a really high pixel density, a lot of brightness on it. If you have two kids, you can get a splitter from a place like Radio Shack and split it out into two headphones. One of the great things about an iPod Touch is that it has a lot of parental controls. Number one, you can lock your kid totally out of the whole thing if you want to. Number two, you can give the kid a password to get into it, but then you can have a separate password for some of the other controls. For instance, it has a volume limiter on it. You as a parent can set the maximum amount of volume on the iPod Touch. It also has some other parental controls on it. You can also turn off some of the features, such as you can ask it to not play any songs with explicit lyrics. You can turn off the web browser. Now, since YouTube is a separate program on the iPod Touch as well as the iPhone, you can have it turn off YouTube as well. You can have it turn off iTunes if you don't want your kids listening to music, and you can keep your kids from installing any new applications. Although your access to the app store is actually limited by your own passcode, so that shouldn't be a huge problem. It was called the iPod Touch for a reason. You manipulate the screen by actually touching it. This is gonna be really good for a kid's eye-hand coordination. There's a game I've loaded on here called Bubblehead, and I'm gonna show you this game right now. If a kid were to play this game, he or she would actually have to use their fingers in order to play the game. Another game that you'll see that we've loaded onto this one is called Scoops. And the iPod Touch not only has a touch screen on it, it also has an accelerometer. It knows when you actually tilt the screen back and forth. So not only are you gonna develop some finger coordination, you can also develop some hand-eye coordination as the kid actually tilts the whole machine back and forth. There are also a lot of educational games that you can download for the iPod Touch. Here are a few that I really love that my kids also dig. Here's probably my favorite one of all time. It's called Starwalk. And this is an app you actually have to buy. It's not free. A lot of the applications in the iPhone and iPod store are free. However, this one right here um, actually requires, I think it's like $4.99. And you'll see the coolest thing about this one is that it knows where you are and it shows the stars where you are. And you can actually tilt up and down. And as you go up and down, as a new constellation comes into view, the actual creature that was originally assigned by human culture to that particular constellation starts to fade in and fade out. So if you, for instance, went to Cassiopeia, you start to see that constellation appear. It's really, really beautiful. This is one of the more sophisticated programs um, that my kids really, really love to use for the budding astronomer. Another great application my kids like is this one called Math Zombie. It's for the kid who's learning to add, and it requires that you go through a bunch of numbers on the screen and figure out how they will add up to a certain sum. And I know that parents might think this is something that kids won't enjoy, but actually a kid who's learning to add at this very moment really digs a game like this. So here's Scrabble. My kid loves to play Scrabble. We pass it back and forth and I help him a lot of times spell some of the words. You can see right here we were playing yesterday in the car while we were waiting for my daughter to get out of gymnastics. And uh, he was really happy that he got both a Q and a U and was able to spell quack. Really, really excited about that. The iPod Touch is not only educational for kids, it's also for parents. And here's where that comes in to play. It has the Dad Labs iPhone or iPod Touch application in which we push videos to you about parenting. I don't think this is really going to excite your kids a lot, but you as a parent can watch those videos. Today's episode is sponsored by Baby Bjorn, and I say this with all sincerity. Two of my favorite products on the planet are Apple products as well as Baby Bjorn products. Once you use them, you know what good design is all about. If you have some iPod Touch or iPhone applications that you really like, that your kids like, let us know over at dadlabs.com. We have a discussion in the forum about iPhone apps for kids. We'll see you next time on Gear Daddy and all week long at dadlabs.com.